how are you? Welcome to my DIY channel. So nice of you to stop by. As you see, I'm still enjoying my beautiful designer looking pumpkin and already thinking what else to create for you. How about a fall swag out of a hanger? What do you think? This is a regular wire hanger. I have some deco mesh here and let's see, maybe we create something cute today too. Before we get started, I want to say thank you very much to all of you for all the wonderful comments you've been sending to me about this designer looking pumpkin that I just made. Uh, the video is number one and I truly appreciate it. Uh, it means so much to me having all of you here. And if you haven't seen that video, this is the one you want to see. I'm going to provide a link for you in the description box below. All right, let's make a great swag. And like I mentioned, we only need a wire hanger, some deco mesh. This one is on sale at Hobby Lobby right now for only $6 and it's 10 by 30. We only gonna use half, $3 cost guys, $3. <laughs> In addition, we're gonna need color coordinating ribbons and Dollar Tree has the most beautiful ribbons this season. So a lot to choose from. In addition, you're gonna need a sign and uh, I picked the jack-o'-lanterns, but of course you can pick any sign that you like. Also, we're going to need a few picks for decoration. And I recommend going to Walmart because they have a better quality for $1 also. But look how beautiful. That's really worth your dollar. And lastly, we're going to need some pipe cleaners. We start off by stretching out our hanger and making a nice long frame for our swag. And I got a tough one. I don't know which dry cleaner gave me this uh, hanger, but it's great. <laughs> You're gonna make something like this. And here's my sophisticated tool for cutting the deco mesh, just a 10 by 10 cardboard. You're simply gonna fold deco mesh over the cardboard and cut along. We want to get pieces 10 by 20. Simple as that, no special equipment needed. And all you need is nine pieces to cover the hanger. We're going to make craffles, the same ones we did for the sunflower wreath. You liked it so much and I love it too, it's so easy. For those who didn't see this video, let me show you how to make the craffles. You simply roll one end of deco mesh about three or four times, clip it, turn it around, roll three, four times, and then walk your fingers make a ruffle, pinch it all together. And just like that, you have a cruffle, <laughs> combination of a curl and ruffle. But first, let's attach the pipe cleaners to the newly made form. The first one we're gonna tie on the top right. And you know, it's gonna be sliding, so we need a drop of hot glue here and there. Then let's attach one at the bottom, at the tip. And with every pipe cleaner, we're gonna have to secure it with some glue and uh, now we uh, put one in the middle that's three these have to dry so let's move to the other side we're gonna attach one in the middle okay we also need another one at the top left Now let's attach one in between each section, which is four more. One here, another one here, and now the bottom right and bottom left. You see what I did here? Real easy, and now your spacing is even. Just reinforce it all with hot glue. So we have a total of nine pipe cleaners. Go ahead, take a screenshot so you can do exact same thing. And now we can start attaching our craffles. Just start at the top and twist tie it two or three times. Do you remember how to make a craffle? So simple. You just roll your curl at the bottom three, four times, clip it, turn it around three, four times, walk your fingers, pinch it all together, and now attach your craffle 
with the pipe cleaner to the form. That's it. All right, the base is ready. What do you think? Just nine crafts. You can make two bases out of one row of deco mesh. Very budget friendly option. And here is our sign. I'm going to utilize the hole that was already at the top there. I'm uh, just feeding the floral wire there. And through the top, we're going to tie it on the other side. Just make sure it is attached to the wire form there. And now we're just going to attach a wire at the bottom, uh, so we're going to be able to tie it down there. I like to put a piece of ribbon on top of the wire so it holds better. And now I just tie it down there again to the wire frame. And now what I like to do is take all the curls from underneath the sign and bring them to the front. What's the point of having them hidden there? I think it's better to just display them up front. I think it's great to have a long sign in the middle because it covers up a lot. Um, if you don't like this one, they also have really cute scarecrows. I'm sure I'll make a scarecrow wreath too because I just love my scarecrows. And yeah, just pull up your curls all around. Another option would be to use a big bestie bow in the middle instead of the sign. I had created a floral swag before on my channel. Feel free to look up this video. It's also beautiful. And I used a wire hanger there and a floral foam. Today, we're gonna make a pretty simple bow. Uh, first, you measure a tail about 12 inches, pinch it. And next, you measure 12 inches for the loop when folded in half, creates a six inch loop, which is perfect for the swag another six inch loop and cut the tail. Uh, this is a, just a simple two loop bow. We're gonna tie it over there underneath the sign. There is a pipe cleaner there actually that we use to uh, tie that uh, craffle. Fluff up your bow and let's make another one on top of it. The next bow is gonna be one inch smaller. So let's measure just 11 inches instead of 12 pinch it now 11 inches bow fold it in half that's about five and a half one more loop 11 pinch it five and a half make sure those loops are pretty much the same and again very simple bow just tie it on top of this one and so on you continue making as many bows as you like. I'm going to make four here.
and now you just have to fluff up all the loops and tails and just like that you have a, a pretty simple bow pretty and simple <laughs> Just don't forget to cut the fishtails. I just fold them in half and cut in an angle, just like that. So what do you think? A lot of colors and patterns, right? Well, this is Halloween and I wanna make a wow statement. So that's why I went all out. Next, we are going to cut eight more pieces of ribbon and attach them all around the swag. I have four different patterns, so let's see how we're gonna do this. I'm just gonna um, see how I like it, like that. Diagonally here, and these here. Yes, I think I like it. Let's go for it, let's tie these down. You fold it in half to find the midpoint, then you pinch it in the middle and make like a V, and then you tie it down with the pipe cleaner that's already there. As you recall, we have nine pipe cleaners there, a one we used at the bottom to attach the bow and we have eight all around. So just attach each ribbon to one. Real simple. So as you see, our swag is becoming very colorful, very bold, and I like that. It's Halloween. Anything is allowed, right? <laughs> uh, sometimes we can let our inner child out. We don't have to be so nice and neutral all the time and do something silly like that. Why not, right? <laughs> I love it. And that's the eighth ribbon right there. So you see all of them around now. And um, all you have to do is just fluff up those tails and, and maybe fluff up some curls. You want to bring some of them to the front, to the back, whatever you like. It doesn't have to be everything so nice and flat. No, uh, we want some dimension there. Now we can add some pigs and I'm just separating them in smaller pieces. Before we insert the pigs, let's just hide those pipe cleaners. I just like to curl them up and hide them underneath the sign. Uh, if you like, you can cut them off, but it's not necessary. And then you insert the pig on top of each. I have only six picks, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just insert them two at the top, two in the middle, and two at the bottom. I'm gonna insert these pointing downward like I did the ones at the top pointing up and the ones on the sides sideways. <laughs> and now that beautiful pumpkin pick I'm gonna put right in the middle of the bow. Just remove the corn husk. I don't think it goes here. And now that you're happy with the placement of all your picks you can go around and hot glue everything.
Finally, we need a little cherry on the top to brighten it up here and there. I'm just gonna pull apart that berry pick. And how about we pimp out this witch's hat over here? I just had a little bling here, some old jewelry piece. I think it would be a great a buckle for a witch's hat here. I also have the sequence ribbon from Dollar Tree in black. I think it would be just a nice highlight around the hat's rim. Are you ready? Here it is! <laughs> How do you like it? I think it's quite amazing and it doesn't look like it was made on the budget at all, right? I love that. And it's big too. It's 34, actually 34 inches long and um, 17 wide. Yeah, compatible handmade swag on Etsy.com would cost you over $100. So it's definitely worth making your own. And do you remember those Dollar Tree doormats I shared with you in my last Dollar Tree tour video? Well, look how perfect. They're a little bit thin, but you can layer them on top of your existing doormat and look how cute. I am crazy about this. Hi there, pumpkin! <laughs> For just one dollar, you can change up your doormat and have a coordinating set with your wreath. How amazing is that? Let me share it with you one more. I got this beautiful placemat at the store called One Dollar Zone. I don't know if you have one in your area, but may many dollar stores have beautiful placemats. And you can use them to create beautiful pillows. All you need is just some stuffing, either from an old pillow or a $3 Walmart pillow. If your placemat is not too layered, you can just hot glue some fabric uh, in the back like I did here. This is from an old pillow and just left the hole there to insert my stuffing. Um, I just uh, take small amounts to fill in the corners first and then the rest of the pillow. When the pillow is full, you're just gonna close the hole by folding in the edges and closing them together. And just like that, you have a beautiful pillow for the total cost of $1 and some old staffing. Compatible pillow would cost you $25 at Kirkland's. And look at that, what a satisfaction it is to create your own. So this is my set for today. The beautiful swag, doormat, and a pillow all on a budget. A high quality looking items, so inexpensively. All right, my besties, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> Look at her, oh, she is just too cute. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, so YouTube will notify you when I upload the next video. Take care, guys. See you next time. Bye-bye.